My name is David Stevenson. I'm the president of the Colchester Cumberland Winfield Incorporated. We're a company that began with a vision, with a possibility. We felt we could harness the local wind that was uh, really quite prominent in our area and uh, that we could create electricity here and make it available for people locally. The Spittle Hill wind site right behind us, uh, we have approximately 100 hectares leased there and in the opening you'll see right behind us uh, is where we'll have our first turbine. Uh, we hope to have further turbines in the future but that first turbine is the first community owned uh, wind turbine in Nova Scotia that will be feeding into the local distribution system. Presently Nova Scotia Power uses Columbian coal. This gives us a clean local alternative. Uh, so it's both building the community and building it in a sustainable way uh, that we can hopefully live more cleanly in the future. To me, wind turbine is the answer to the energy. If you look around this area, the tourism that we have here, it's gorgeous country. Uh, we have beautiful breezes, the ocean, and what better way to harness it than with a wind turbine and you're not destroying any of the other amenities that we have for everybody. And there's a comparison between this and the large wind fields that are going up, which are, are also clean forms of energy, but the benefits don't come nearly as directly to this community. And so there's a distinction between this one, which is really building community. We come together as community and feel that we have some control over our own energy future. As engineer and project manager for the Colchester to come in Winfields, we're really excited because it's March 2011. We're going to have our first project up and running and be in commercial production in July of this year. Uh, it's been a long time coming. The company, I started getting involved in 2006, and it was just a dream at that time to have wind power and, and to have it community owned. The turbine that we're putting on Spittle Hill has a tower that's 73 meters high. That's quite tall. The blades are 53 meters across. It's a uh, 800 kilowatt turbine. Uh, it will power two to 300 homes depending on the wind speed uh, on the, any given day. The one small project that we're involved in is, as I understand, going to produce roughly the equivalent amount of energy that the small town of Tanamagush uses on an average day. So we pride ourselves in saying that when this turbine starts turning, uh, we will be a town that is getting our energy from our own clean energy source. To be on the ground floor of this whole project, is, uh, is amazing and to watch it actually uh, coming to fruition this summer is uh, absolutely tremendous. Uh, I can't wait till the snow goes away up there and, uh, and get up there and start helping out. The best thing that's going to happen is when I actually see the wind turbine on the top of the hill in Spittle Hill. I've been up to the site numerous times. I'm constantly checking on progress. And the day that the turbine is put up, that will be my moment. I can hardly wait to see it. Projects like energy in the community, it's, it's really different business altogether in that we need large quantities of money to start a project like we're doing. The project we're doing is $2.3 million to completion. And to get that kind of money before you have any revenue source is a new experience for me. The way that we've encouraged investors to, to come to us has been through a, a program of the provincial government called the Community Economic Development Investment Fund. The seed of program allows for a tax credit on the investment that people make. And the, the amount that uh, comes back as a, a tax credit in the first year is 35%. I think for me the, the main in interest in, in investing in something is that it was actually a local project. Uh, when you get an opportunity to actually match uh, your values to where you want to invest it, it was, it was a, a real win-win for me. And we've had a great many people now who have come to us uh, who are shareholders in our company. Indeed, we've, uh, we're past the 170 mark as shareholders, which shows a tremendous interest in, in our project in the area and across other parts of Nova Scotia. I became involved in the project back with the first CEDAF in 2007. Uh, from there I was just a shareholder. It was later 2009 that I was invited to become a director on the, on the board and I accept it because again I totally believe in the project. My decision to invest in it is, is, is because I believe in the company and I'm, I believe in the energy production. I believe that it's a, a reasonable project. I think at some point it probably will return money. That wasn't my major consideration in investing in it. 
It was that it was a community um, project in itself and that it was green energy. Having 10 grandchildren, uh, the ecological and the moral aspect always outweighs the financial aspect. But the beautiful part about this, it's got both. Yes, it's, it's true that when you write a check as a small business, you probably think about it twice. It seemed to be so well planned. They were so careful in their presentations. Um, and the, they just seem to have done it so well. Um, and I just wanted to encourage them. Down the road, I'm looking for a return on my money. There's dividends and we have a plan in place and it will probably be right on time like everything else we're doing. We have a strong business sense as part of this. We, we work very closely uh, on the, the flow of our funds uh, into and out of the company so that we know that we always have the funds ahead to do the next part of our project. And when we are taking in uh, uh, investments from people in the community, we're very careful to make sure that we use those funds wisely. For other communities that want to do like we've done and utilize the comp that they need to ensure they have the resource first. Without the resource, the wind, the, the tidal, whatever they're expecting to draw the energy from, they need to ensure that resource is viable. Uh, they need to have the right group of people come together and treat it as a long-term business. This is not something you'll pay attention to this year and next year it'll go into an auto mode. This is a long-term commitment, a 20-year commitment to a business. In our case, where we have shareholders that are neighbors, our friends, um, people I don't know but live close by, uh, the project, I have to be very conscious of that. Has to be, the business has to be run carefully. Um, this is a business for profit. We expect to take returns back to these people that have invested in us. We have to ensure that we honor that. I think there generally is pride in the community about this project. There's a, a lot of discussion. Uh, we have a Saturday morning market and there's, people are always talking about the windmill and there's a number of wind towers going up around here, windmills going up, and pointing out that this turbine is different. This is one that we own. It's one where the benefits will come to us. To be able to actually put a little bit of money towards something you really believe in um, is, is just, you feel like you're a bit more of the solution than the problem. And so I think that's a big part of it. And then the fact that it's right in your own backyard, it's, it's it, once again, it's just a, a real good feeling. As a potter, it is incredible to have the opportunity to use clay and water and fire, which is standard, but to add wind power uh, to power the kilns is just over the top. It's just a, a, an exciting uh, uh, uh place to be you know we're we're right in the middle or right on the ground floor of uh, wind power in Nova Scotia and I had an opportunity to uh, be right at the start of a wind uh, project that will power Tatamagrish. The CCWF was the first community to put together a wind turbine that we all own together in, in the community all the shareholders are, are here um, it, it there will be more the opportunity is there. Nova Scotia has a great resource. We have uh, great uh, programs to facilitate it and it can be duplicated. We can do it. We know we'll do the next thing and the next thing because that's the kind of community we are. And that feeling uh, can be carried into other communities and we, we, would, we would love to be able to help them build the, the, the pride and the sense of achievement in their communities as well. It's been phenomenal to watch it. And, and see, succeed, like the seed up, and it's like, you know, it's a small community, and we can do that? It's just, it's, just, it's unreal, it's wonderful.